Hey fellas, I'm going to be talking to you guys about SEO today. SEO is short for Search Engine Optimization, and this is how to make your site be found by Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Uh, this is very important. There's tons of information on SEO, but I'm going to sum it up for you and what I've learned in the past couple months. Because I've never realized the importance of SEO either until I built my own website. And then I was like, what the hell? Why is nobody going to my website? It's because I didn't have good SEO. So here's how to make SEO simple and how I broke it down for you guys. But before that, I'm going to say some good stat here. People make billions of searches every month. Search is the top activity on the web. So SEO is very important more important than social and social marketing and everything so how to make SEO simple first you need good keywords and keywords that people are actually googling for so, and then second you need good on-page SEO you need good content that people actually will like um, Without on-page on SEO, you need good title tags, good description tags, and good header tags. Those are very important to SEO for search engines. <clears throat> and third, you need links from other sites so search engines know your site is legit and users actually like it. So basically this is backlinks. It's very hard to get backlinks to a site that you just made. Um, it's the hardest part of SEO. Having good keywords and on-page SEO is easy, but backlinks is extremely hard, and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so how does SEO work? Basically, search engine spiders crawl your website looking for content. They index that information into their database, and then they rank your website on complex algorithms. They don't really tell us how they don't really tell us any of this stuff we just kinda figure it out and know best practices on how to tackle SEO there's no set in stone way of doing SEO there's just what people have learned and what Google tells us somewhat they don't really give us a lot of good answers but um so here's how to spoon feed search engines so they can read your website fast and clearly. Um, you're going to want good title tags, <coughs> good description tags, and good header tags. Um, what are title tags and description tags? I'll show you here. Let's just type in something um, horses. So this right here, this is a title. So it's horse, Wikipedia, and this is the URL. So in your URL you're going to want your main keyword also because that's what this uh, spiders store in their database so that's useful you want your URL to have something relevant um, and a really good description and this is narrowed down to like 165 characters so you want to take full advantage of the space that you're taking up on Google's search so title tags are 72 characters this isn't set in stone some people say it's more or less whatever make sure this title tag is including your keywords <clears throat> you need good keywords. What people are searching for <clears throat> should be in your title tag. And then uh, description tag. This is um, Google doesn't rank your website on description tags, but it certainly does help people go to your website if they know what's on your website before they even click on it. So that's limited to 165 characters, give or take a little. Uh, it should be unique on every page. You should change this for every page. If you don't, Google will dock you for duplicate content or like the same description tags. So they will, will start to just not even read your description tags anymore. They'll just find other information on your page and put it in your description tag, which is bad. So the header tag, H1, is the most important tag. Every page should have an H1. And it should be very similar to your title tag, but include different keywords and a different no, I'll show you here so on this page right here I have a title tag and my main keyword here is SEO tutorials <coughs> T 
tips and tricks, learn SEO the right way, and then I have my site name. This is good practice just to have this on every one of your title tags. Whatever is on the far left is the most important to the search engine. So I have SEO tutorials, and then I have a, a really good description about my website and this page specifically. Um, keywords are not used at all anymore. Google does not use the meta keywords at all. So I, I still use it just because I always have. I think some search engines besides Google might use it. I don't know. It's up to you. And so here in my H1, I have how to become an SEO ninja. So I'm including a different keyword here, ninja. So pretty much I'm saying my title tag in a different way. It should be very closely related, your H1 and your title. So let's go back to body content. Uh, this is just a good practice. You don't have to have a minimum of 300 words. Uh, you're going to want to repeat your keywords in your body content and also include links to other websites and to internal websites or internal links to other pages on your website. So I'm going for it. Uh, linking is a fundamental basis of the web. Search engines want to know that you're connected with other pages, so you're going to want to link to other pages and have other pages linked to you, which are backlinks. Um, other good practices use alt tags for your images. So up here for my logo, I have my logo. It's an anchor. Inside that anchor, I have an image, and my alternate tag here for my image is SEO Ninja. So now Google can read that image, and they knows exactly what it is. So basically, it's just taking out this image tag and just putting SEO Ninja. So that's good practice. Uh, what not to do. Black Hat SEO is bad. Google it. Find out more bad ways to not do your website. Uh, you don't want to... No keyword stuffing, just filling your title tag full of junk. Just a bunch of really popular keywords that have nothing to do with your website. Google will dock you for it. They're smart and they will find you. No hidden text, this is just good practice. Don't use white text on a white background. So basically, it's invisible to the user, but the search engine can read it or the robot can read it. So if you're hiding text from the user, then Google's going to dock you for it. They're smart enough to realize all this black hat SEO. Don't do any of this. Hide text band images. It's all bad. So this is the hardest part of SEO is link building. We talked about on-page SEO and important keywords. That's all easy and stuff you can do. But link building and getting your site on other websites make them leak back to you is something you can't really kinda do but you need good content for other people to talk about so what other people say about your website is more important than what you say about yourself Google wants to know that you're linking to or linking to you wants to know that people are linking to you and what words they're saying inside of their anchor text that it links to the, your website basically what I just said there Pretend this link is on their website, and they're linking to your website. Whatever is in this anchor text is very important, and if it's giving you good feedback to your website, then Google's going to say your website is legit, and it's a good, it's a good website for information. You're going to rank higher. So having your site on, well, we'll talk about getting social here in a second. Search engines favor websites that have a lot more relevant, frequently updated content. Basically, getting social. So SEOs, SEO love blogs, or search engines love blogs, is what I meant to say there. Get your site on someone else's blog so they're talking about you. It's awesome. Uh, make a Google Plus page. Make a Facebook account. Make a Twitter. Get on the front page of Dig. Um, or Reddit or FARC or any other website like this. If you're on the front page, you're going to get a bajillion hits. Which you need a really good idea for a website. You need to be, your website needs to be unique. Um, 
if your local business add your business to Google Places uh, this is a personal website that I've made for a client so Spencer Landscaping uh, they're a local business they submitted their business to Google Places so on the right hand side of the search uh, they have their map and they have images and they have reviews these are all included in Google Places. They have their location before you even click on the website. You already know where they're at. This is a great SEO. The, look how big of a chunk this is taking up. Um, the like the user already knows what to click on. They're just gonna click on. There's no need to scroll. They already like they already see everything they need to see. So that is awesome. I'm gonna show you a bunch of other links before we end this video I'm just I'm gonna include all these links into the description um, I'm gonna show you the benefits of Google AdWords um, this is I don't use AdWords anything else besides finding good keywords so if you type in uh, funny dogs or something it's gonna tell you what are the most popular searches on Google so YouTube is Googled was that like a billion times? Um, pups for sale. Um, videos that are funny. I've searched two million seventy times a month. So it's gonna tell you keywords and what people are searching for. If you can get your website to be unique enough to hit one of these things, and you're gonna be able to get a lot of traffic on your website. Google Analytics is next. Uh, Google's just going to have everything. Google AdWords, Google Analytics, Google Web Developer Tools. You're going to want all this stuff. Um, this is to detect how many people visit your website. These are the stats. How many people visit a day. How many of them are new. How long they stay on it. You can see where they're from. You can go into great detail with this. I can go in the United States. I can see what all states people are visiting from. How long they're on the website. I can click on a state and see what city they're from, how long they're on the website. I can see what mobile device they're on. I can see social engagement, browsers, what network. I can see if they're new, new people, everything. Uh, you, you're also going to want Google Web Developer Tools. I would go and get this after your video and sign up for on your website. Um, you're going to want to register your website. Um, it's going to tell you errors that Google bots see in your website and how to fix them so they can search your website faster. It's going to show you the most keywords on your website. I'll show you how to build a sitemap. Sitemaps are very important so robots can search your website faster. It's going to show you backlinks. So what links are coming are linking to your website? Uh, then there's some search queries and there's a bunch of other stuff on over here. You can manage your website. Very important. Here, there's just some uh, popular SEO websites. So basically, if you're confused at what to put inside your title tag, your description, your H1, just see what the pros do. And the pros, I mean, just Google for best SEO websites or best web best SEO tools and these people like these people's jobs are to make their clients on the front page of Google so you know they know SEO just look in their source find their title tags what are they doing um, go to find their h1 tag see what that is it's, this is their h1 this is their h2 like how are they doing their logo like what's good content and then just um just see what the pros do um scribe isn't also a really good website if you don't feel like doing all this you can just buy a plan i suggest these guys i've never used them i was tempted to use them 47 bucks a month but um they're just gonna get you the front page of google more or less um do it yourself seo basically just like the other two I showed you, but they have an SEO report card, which is what I like. It's a free tool. It will, it will grade your website, give you some smiley faces if you're doing good or bad, and it'll just show you 
all stats. Take advantage of that. <clears throat> um, Matt Cutts is very important. He's the lead guy at Google for SEO. If you want to subscribe to his blog, um, Matt Cuts again on YouTube. You're going to want to go to Google Webmaster Help. That's their channel. And they answer questions. They answer questions, everything about SEO. Right after this video, you're going to want to go look at all these videos, what to do with SEO, what not to do. And they just answer questions. This is very informational. And it's an easy way of not reading. So that's what I always look at. <clears throat> And then uh, Google Webmaster Help has a blog about SEO, Webmaster Tools, um, SEO Hacker. Uh, it's a very good website on how to do tutorials, learn basic SEO, everything. And SEO Moz blog, very informational, just tutorials and everything. So before we go, I'm in this video. Make your SEO simple. I'm just going to do a review here. You need good keywords. Keywords that people are Googling for. You need good title tags, description tags, and header tags. Good on-page SEO. And lastly, you need links from other websites. So that's everything you need to know or what I've learned in the past couple months on SEO and how important it is to me and my website. Just so you guys know, uh, this isn't a real website you can as actually go to and learn. <clears throat> this is just a local website that I made just to display all this information on SEO. So hopefully this helped you guys out on SEO and you guys will have good practices and know what to do when you hit your next website. So thanks.